All right, what's up, people? So um, a question that I has been asked is, uh, when is the right moment to detect that is, um, or what is the actually the the information that gives us uh, to know that is a winning product? Actually, what is those? Um, what is those points that we like to look when uh, to or the behaviors that we like to look in order for us to understand that it, we're having a winning product in our hands, okay? So basically this question is extremely important and I appreciate the person who asked it. Um, I just don't remember who it is anymore. So that's why I don't put it up on the screen. So basically there's, there's different type of winning products, okay? So there are winning products that, and, and their behaviors are super differently, super different. So one can act one way and the other one is gonna act uh, another way. So basically one of the things that I love to, um, to actually see on a winning product is basically the sales. Okay, this is the first indicator that I'm going to be looking at um, before I even look at the ads metrics, you know, uh, it's important to understand the metrics, but for me, I don't care about metrics till I don't get sales. Okay. So once I start getting sales, okay. So how many sales do I need to know? Do I need to get or uh, in order for me to understand or have an idea that this can be a potential winning product? So I'll give you an example. Let's say you're having a product that has one cell today. Now, there's when you get a one cell, you have to go and look at the metrics right away. So remember what I say, look at your cells and then you can go look at the metrics. So let's say you got one cell, so you're gonna look at your metrics. And if your metrics are the ones that we teach to our students to follow, if those metrics are um, uh, on point, then I'm gonna leave that product to run for longer. If, that, if those metrics are not good, I call them lucky sales. So I'm gonna shut down the product. It doesn't matter if you only spent $10, if you only spent $15, it doesn't really matter because the metric is already sp speaking to me that that sale was just a random sell. You know, I don't, I don't need to overspend money. Um, so how can I really know that it's a good product? It's basically uh, when I get two, three sales the first day. If I get two, three sales the first day, it's already an indicator for me that this product has potential. Now, keep in mind that um, it's not always going to be exactly like that, but most of the winning products that we had, it always been like two, three sales, then you got like six, seven sales, and then it goes in like um, going up. So if you're finding a product and you're getting one sell, the first thing that you need to do is actually look at the metrics. If the metrics are not good enough for you, then shut down that product. If the metrics are good, let it run because that's probably a good sign that you're having a good product. Now, if you get two or three sales, it's important for you to understand that that product has a lot of potential because one sell is okay, but when you're having three, four sales, then it's not a lucky sell anymore. Now, the thing is, you have to understand that when you start scaling your product, it might not give you more sales. Meaning we have a strategy where we do in our side, when it comes to Facebook and TikTok, it's completely different, the strategy that we use. But when you do this and you try to scale your product, if it doesn't give you more sales, there is something that you can do so let it run for, this is what you're going to do. So let it run for like a week or two, uh, just collect the money and try to scale it back again. So basically, how do I know that it's a winning product? I get two, three sales the first day. Uh, the second day, I get four or five sales. And then this third day, I get like, I don't know, let's say I have uh, um, 10 sales, you know? So it has to go up. And when I see these kind of things, by looking at the metrics, if I see that my metrics are solid, because 
It's important that you understand that they both go together. I just don't like to look at the metrics till I don't get sales. <clears throat> so basically, this is how I know that it's a winning product, all right? Now, don't fall in love with a product that you're trying to scale and it's not scaling. It's scaling. Uh, it's basically not a winning product. It doesn't matter if you make 10 sales. It doesn't matter if you make 15 sales. What it's telling you is that when you're trying to scale the product, there's not a, a space out there for you to get more money out of that. So don't overspend money. It's not necessary. It's not, it's, it's not a need. So if you see that the metrics that we teach inside the mentorships are the ones that you're having and you're getting uh, sales every, every day and it's increasing, let it run and uh, do the strategy that we teach you inside the mentorship. So guys, this is basically the indications that I know that I have a potential winning product in my hands is by following these steps, all right? So I hope you have having an amazing, amazing, beautiful day. Uh, today here, I think it's like Monday or Sunday. Um, so yeah, see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and comment below. And again, guys, if you want to be part of the private one-on-one -on -one mentoring with me and my brother, you can send me a message through Facebook. Um, I'm going to be uh, opening a couple of spots right now, but my time is super limited because I'm super busy uh, with um, with students and with the Q4 right now. Uh, we're having a couple of brands that we are mega scaling as of right now. So yeah. Keep that in mind before you message us. You should have between five to seven thousand dollars available. We offer two mentorship: one for TikTok, one for Facebook. And uh, yeah, once you're ready, let me know, and we're gonna start right away. Now, keep in mind that it's not gonna be an easy journey. It's gonna be super hard, but this is why we're here. Even when the mentorship is done, you're going to still have access for me and my brother to ask any questions. And even if you um finding a product and the mentorship is done, it doesn't matter. You can send us a message and we're always going to look at it and we're going to tell you if you should keep injecting money or just kill that product. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.